Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, system of uh, two equations. Our first equation is a plus b equals to 1. And our second equation is a times b equals to 1 as well. And now we are going to solve this system of equations. In other words, we are going to find the value of uh, a and we are going to find the value of b as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And now since we are going to solve this system of uh, two equations, and now let's recall the Vietas uh, formula. And the formula is uh, x square minus uh, sum of uh, the roots uh, times x plus uh, the product of roots uh, equals to zero. And here in our case, uh, sum of these two roots equals to one. So therefore, I'm going to substitute uh, this uh, sum uh, with uh, 1 over here. And likewise, the product of the two roots uh, is 1 as well. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this product uh, with 1 as well. So therefore, our equation is going to look like uh, x square minus uh, 1 times uh, x plus 1 is going to be equal to 0. And now we can see this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, for x by using the quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we'll be using. And in our case, uh, our coefficient uh, a of this uh, x square equals to 1. The coefficient uh, b equals to negative 1. And finally, the constant uh, c equals to 1. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. So x uh, is going to be equal to minus, uh, and then b is uh, negative 1, plus r minus uh, the square root of uh, b in our case is negative 1 uh, square, minus uh, 4 times a is 1, c is 1 all over 2 times uh, a is 1. And now we are going to simplify these parts. And now we are going to take care of this uh, radicand. So therefore, x is going to be equal to 1 plus r minus uh, the square root of uh, negative 3 all over 2. And now let's recall this crucial fact. The square root of negative 1 is uh, always equal to i, where i is our imaginary number. So therefore, uh, this part, uh, square root of uh, negative 3, is going to become uh, i times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore, we can write uh, x uh, equals to 1 plus r minus uh, i times uh, square root of 3 all over 2. I'm going to split that 2 over here and likewise uh, 2 over here as well. And now we are going to split uh, these two signs, positive and negative. So therefore, uh, our two roots are going to become, uh, the first root is going to become x of 1 equals to 1 divided by 2 plus uh, i times uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 2 and the second root uh, x of 2 is going to become uh, 1 divided by 2 minus uh, i times the uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 2 and now let's make an observation we know our two roots are uh, a and uh, b so therefore i'm going to replace this x of 1 with the uh, lowercase a and this x of 2 with the lowercase uh, b. So thus our two roots turns out to be a equals to 1 divided by 2 plus i times the uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. And the second root is going to be lowercase uh, b equals to 1 divided by 2 minus uh, i times the uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 as well. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two scenarios. In scenario 1, our a value is 1 divided by 2 plus uh, i times square root of 3 divided by 2. 
and in scenario 2 our b value is 1 divided by 2 minus uh, i times square root of 3 divided by 2 and now let's focus on this uh, very first equation a plus b equals to 1 and I have copied down this uh, equation 1 uh, over here and now I'm going to move this uh, a on the other side so therefore we can write uh, b equals to 1 uh, minus uh, a and we know our a value is this one so I'm going to substitute that value over here so therefore we can write uh, 1 minus uh, a value is 1 divided by 2 plus i times the square root of 3 divided by 2 let's take care of this uh, negative sign we are going to distribute it so therefore this is going to become 1 minus uh, 1 divided by 2 minus uh, i times square root of 3 divided by 2 and now let's simplify 1 minus 1 divided by 2 that is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 2 so therefore our lowercase b value turns out to be 1 divided by 2 minus uh, i times the uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 so thus in uh, scenario 1 uh, our uh, corresponding value for uh, this scenario b turns out to be 1 divided by 2 minus i times square root of 3 divided by 2 and now let's focus on uh, our scenario 2 as well and we are going to focus on this very first equation once again and here I have copied down our very first equation a plus b equals to 1 and this time I'm going to move this uh, b on the other side and now I'm going to substitute this uh, b value over here so therefore we can write uh, 1 minus uh, if we substitute that value 1 divided by 2 minus uh, i times the square root of 3 divided by 2 and now we are going to distribute that negative sign so therefore this could be written as uh, 1 minus 1 divided by 2 plus uh, i times square root of 3 divided by 2 and if we simplify this one 1 minus 1 divided by 2 is same as 1 divided by 2 so therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be 1 divided by 2 plus i times the square root of 3 divided by 2 so thus in uh, scenario 2 our corresponding value for this uh, b turns out to be a equals to 1 divided by 2 plus i times square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore uh, this is our solution 1 and this is our solution 2 so thus here are our two solutions as you can see and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye